Hi everyone, this is Shirley from Shirley's World. Can you hear me all right? Hi Bumblebee. I'm on my laptop computer. Uh, I don't normally don't do videos this way and does the sound okay? Hi Diane. <laughs> yes, I'm here with that uh, big haul video or haul that I got at Goodwill just a couple days ago. So, yeah, I needed to go there because it was double points day and I needed uh, the points to go toward those 35% off coupons that I get. So, I used one to shop for this these things and I have two more in the queue. <laughs> so, it worked and uh, they have this every month that you get double points. Yeah, you can hear. Okay, good. Um... Uh, I spent over a hundred dollars, hundred and seven dollars and forty cents. I got thirty three items. That surprised me when I went to ca the cash register because it seems I was throwing things in my cart like crazy, and I thought it would be more than thirty three things, but it still comes out to be three dollars and twenty five cents for each item. I average out the price, so that's okay. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm going to start with, uh, shoes, I think. I did get shoes this time. And let me tell you one thing while I remember Bumblebee. Remember, we were talking about, uh, the Sperry Top Siders yesterday. And, uh, I said that I had sold, well, I did sell one and I had some more left. I only had one pair left um, I've been stuck with paper here. one pair left in inventory so I went in and got them with plans of relisting them well when I went to find them in my active listings these these are women's these are cute they have a little plaid on the side they're in good condition I think they're only a size well they're a size eight and a half which is fine uh, women's top siders. When I went to find them in my active listings, here they're not listed. I don't know how they got unlisted. Uh, I may have sold them once and they came back and then they didn't get relisted. I don't know. But all this time that they've been in there, thank goodness you mentioned that bumblebee. So now I have another pair of these top siders to list. So I will list them along with these other shoes. So here's what I got as far as shoes. I'll show you these weird ones first. Uh, these fall in the category with embroidery and a wedge heel and ugly. All the same thing. And a good brand. So these are by Sam Edelman, which is a good brand of shoe. They're a size 10. But look at that weird heel. The heel is all is, I'm sorry, the lighting isn't the best here. Uh, the heel is embroidered here too. But there's big flowers embroidered on the toe. They're just really different. They look like they've never been worn. They look like maybe they were tried on in the store. There's no wear on the heel at all. They're in perfect shape. So, for all those reasons, <laughs> uh, I got them. Okay. Uh, these are a pair of, of Adidas. They're only a size sm uh, 5, which is small. Uh, but they had an interesting sole. Like, this is like, would massage your foot. Uh, they have some wear, but not too much. They have a Velcro closing here, and they're just slide-on sandals uh, you can wear in the water, I'm sure. So I got those. I got a nice pair of Asics uh, shoes, uh, athletic shoes. These are women's. These are look. These are nine and a half women's. They look brand new. They have nowhere, 
and they're really in clean condition. Uh, the soles are great. Uh, so Asics, I sold this brand before. It's a good brand. Hopefully I can get 30 to $35 for those. Uh, I picked up this pair of grasshoppers because I was, remember, I had that uh, other pair of grasshopper slide on loafers that I got the other day. Well, these are, these look in really good condition, but these are uh, tennis shoes. They have mesh up here, but this is all suede leather along here. So they're part leather, leather toes. They're in excellent condition and they are a bigger size too. I can see this. Well, seven. Not bigger size. Uh, seven. That used to be the normal size that all women would wear. Seven, seven and a half. Now we've advanced to nines and nine and a half and tens. Uh, anyway, I got those. I found a pair of Crocs. Now these are small. These are a size. If I can read this. Uh, one junior, just a small pair. I guess the J stands, is that what it stands for? One juniors. They're very clean. I'll, I'll uh, scrub them up a little more on the toe here. But Crocs sell for sure. So I got that pair of Crocs. And look at this is my favorite ones. Look at this tiny little pair. These are a size five toddler, I think. Yeah, five toddler. Uh, the shoelaces are elastic. You just shove, they just shove their foot in there. But they're Vans. Little pair of Vans. They have flowers here. They're a dark navy blue, I think. But they're really nice and clean. I mean, how much damage can a toddler do to their sneakers? So, yes, this really cute little pair of Van toddler shoes. I watch uh, Ginger Marvin. She always buys the cutest little tiny shoes. So, that's where I got those. So, those are the shoes that I got. All right, I have some things laying on the table. I'll show you first before I show you the hanging things. I found a, a um, this looks brand new too. This is a, a sports bra. It has the pads in it and they're removable. This is by Athleta, Athleta. It has a racer back. It's just a pull on or slip on uh, stretchy bra. Now the size is, 34D. And there's the brand name, Athleta. So, yeah, this looks like it's never been worn in this uh, sort of muted uh, rose color. Then I found these cute little mini skirts. <coughs> now, I know mini skirts aren't exactly in right now some strings hanging on this one but it's a it has a raw edge on the top these are tiny little mini skirts but they're full of ruffles a really cute pattern yeah step back here they're just stretch on and they're by uh, airy which is an uh, american eagle brand that one and right next to it is probably, I'm sure, with the same person. This is American Eagle uh, with the elastic band with this little pattern. Just so cute. So I don't know. These are extra small, these little mini skirts. So I don't know if they'll sell now or not. I know longer skirts are what's trending. Uh, 
This is by J. Jill. It's a genuine fit at the waist, 10 petite. So they're long. They're like skimmers. They go to way down to the knee. They're beige, like khaki color with pockets. And a turned up hem with a button here. I'm not sure if you unbutton that, if you can make them longer or not, maybe. Uh, let's fuzz on it. Got that pair. Uh, this is a pair of Lee Regular Fit Mid-Rise. I got this pair because they look brand new. They don't look like they've ever been worn. Uh, they have like a ribbon pull tie. They have pockets on the leg here. They have a cute closing. And they feel and look like linen, but they're not. They're cotton, uh, cotton and spandex. Flat pockets on the back. And it's a gray, a gray color. So I got those. Uh, this is a American Eagle Outfitters Super Stretch uh, mid, Midi, whatever that means in shorts, in a size 4. Is that U.S.? Yeah. No, 6. I can't see. Uh, in this olive green color. <clears throat> this is... I think Athleta, yes, Athleta also. Nice pair of Bermudas. A Heather Gray, this is all stretch, pull on. Uh, there's the brand, Athleta. Now these have holes here where it probably had a pull tie, but I felt along here, and it is in there. The pull tie is there. So I have a... A little thing that you, you can pull that through. So I think I'll be able to fish that out and get the uh, pull tie back. So you can't really see the color too much. These are a uh, uh, heather gray zip pockets. Bermuda shorts. Uh, this is by American Eagle Outfit. Fitters called the Tom Girl Shorty. And size are you? These are a size 16. Okay, I found this on the web for size 16 anything. Check it out. <laughs> Sorry, it's an 18. These are size 18. They're distressed. A uh, pair of little, little booty shorts. One more pair of shorts. These are Levi's. Uh, 515s in a size 8. So a nice pair of, these are cuffed. Uh, Bermuda shorts by Levi. Okay. Now I have to go to the rack here. I don't know if you'll be able to see if I hear me if I step back here. Let me start this in. Uh, I found this long maxi dress. This is in a uh, leopard print. It's stretchy. It has the belt. It buttons all the way down. And it's by Ann Taylor. Ann Taylor Loft. And it's a size 2. It's just a long sleeve. Just a nice stretchy stretch on, button down, like a shirt dress. But it's stretchy. <clears throat> now this looks like a you'd wear to the beach. This has no straps. This is a um, strapless dress, elastic at the top. This is also Ann Taylor Loft, and it is a size small. 
and it's this nice print. It has a tie here at the waist, drawstring tie. It's a maxi. Did I say that was a maxi? That other dress is a maxi too. And this has a ruffle at the bottom. So just a long, like a beach dress. Or, you know, warm weather around the pool, whatever. <laughs> uh, and see you wearing that in Florida. <clears throat> Okay, here's a top by Lucky Brand in a large. This is, boy, this lighting is terrible. I need a spotlight on me. Uh, this is navy blue. You see that? It's very thin fabric, so you can see through it. Uh, thin fabric, high-low hem. Has some lace up here. Probably can't see that. Here if I turn this light around let me experiment with this bright light i don't burn myself oh that's bright i can hardly see <laughs> uh i don't know if that's better or worse i should have tested this i can't see if i do that that way uh, anyway, I can put uh, boho on here or cottage core. Uh, this is a women's Nike Pro dry fit in a extra large, just a nice color, stretchy, athletic top with a swish on the front. My favorite brand right now, Knox Rose. This has embroidery on it here. Has a, sort of a cap sleeve, almost sleeveless. This is a medium. And it has a lace uh, stripe across the bottom. It's black. That's a pretty little top. The back is plain black. <clears throat> this is another Knox Rose uh, with puffy sleeves. It goes down to elastic cuffs. The sleeves are a different fabric than the uh, the main fabric is like a knit, like a big waffle knit type thing. And then you have lace panels here. It's high low with a raw raw hem. Seems to me I have this very similar one of these in my store. It seems really familiar, doesn't it? Uh, well, if I do, I have it again. This was a size <clears throat> large. This is J. Crew, regular J. Crew in a small. This is a, I thought it was a jacket at first, but it it's not a jacket. It just uh, opens, has uh, big snaps. One snap there, and if you want it closed more, a couple more snaps. Black and white, but it has these strange uh, sleeves with these big... <laughs> These big ribbon bows. Personally, I'd take those out of there, but that's just me. Uh, got a nice over top. I think it's navy. Navy blue and white, like a nautical type uh, look. Now, what kind of dress do you think this is, the brand? You'd never guess what this is. It's a sheath dress, and it has pockets on each side here. It's navy blue and this, like, a muted red. 
It has a zipper that goes down to here, exposed zipper on the back. Uh, this, believe it or not, is Lily Pulitzer. Now, I read about Lily Pulitzer. Uh, this is small. This won't go for very much. Uh, the only things in Lily Pulitzer that go for a lot are those flowered, certain flower designs that she's known for. But I looked up this type of thing and they don't sell very well at all. But it's nicely made. It's a nice uh, sheath dress. A good, uh, a good brand, even though this type of a dress won't, you know, sell as much as the flowered ones. This is, I picked this because it's, uh, first of all, it's linen. Second of all, it's a real nice uh, stripe for the summer. Looks kind of beachy. It's by Harper Heritage. I may have had this brand before. It sounds familiar. There's the tag, Harper Heritage. And this is a size extra large. Button front. And it has a tie at the hem hemline. Turn up sleeves like uh, tab roll sleeves. And two chest pockets there. But it's linen. This I bought because of the brand Talbot's Extra Large. It's just a really nice looking knit sweater in this nice soft, soft uh, sage green. Extra Large has a little zipper to put it on here at the neck and the back. This would be like a, well, you could wear this anywhere, but you could wear it to the office. Uh, this is by Chico's in a one. Chico's one, I think, is a large. One petite. This is a really open weave, uh, three-quarter sleeve, striped, and it has fringe on the bottom. Just a cardigan, open cardigan. And I think it's cotton. It feels cotton. It would be really nice for the summer as a throw-on uh, when you're cool, cool summer evenings. <clears throat> but that was really cute. This looks very familiar like the last week I got a black and white plaid Knox Rose piece. This, however, is a dress. <laughs> uh, I know you asked me, there's a, whoever answered me, That might, maybe that's Siri, I don't know. Um, extra, extra large. This has smocking here. It buttons all the way down. It has long sleeves, and it's just a uh, cute little, well, it's to the knee, cute little dress and an extra, extra small by Knox Rose. I know Bumblebee wondered if that other one was a, uh, was a mini dress, but I don't think it was. I think that was a, like a long top, but this definitely is a dress. It's not mini. It's to the knee. <clears throat> Here's another linen piece. This is Linen by Charter Club Luxury. And it's a size extra large, 100% linen. And it's a really pretty floral uh, pattern for the summer. Button front. <clears throat> and 
Um, here's another uh, floral button front shirt. This is by Cloth and Stone. I don't find that very often. Long button sleeves. It's really a lightweight, thin, cool fabric. I think this is all rayon. <clears throat> And a little, I'm not sure if this is long enough to be a, I guess it is, like a little mini dress. This is by American Eagle, extra small, uh, adjustable straps, has uh, embroidery, white on white embroidery, and then ruffled uh, skirt, and it's lined. So it's very clean. There's no spots or anything, no stains. Perfect for the summer. Little mini dress. And another Life is Good shirt. I've been really lucky finding these lately. For a while, I couldn't find them at all. Now, this is a good one for summer. It says, grow your own way. And it has a garden spade, a hand there. It's a woman's small. That's a good size small. And there's the little guy on the back. Another pink. Life is good shirt. And another black and white uh, check plaid. This is by J. Jill in an extra large. This is just a big top, uh, like a tunic top. Yes, tunic top. It has like three little uh, shell buttons at the top here and a wide neck. Raglan sleeves, lo raglan, long sleeves. Nice, uh, cool. This is rayon also. I looked this up before. <clears throat> and one more, which is a really good find. This is a uh, brand new, with tags, Columbia PFG vented fishing shirt. Short sleeve, white. For boating and fishing and all that kind of stuff. Uh, size large, men's, button down collar. It has numerous pockets here. And Columbia. It's an omni shade, which means there's something in the fabric that keeps you from getting sunburn through your shirt. <clears throat> has a tag. I don't. Yes, it has a price. This was $40. So that is it. That's my haul. 33 items. And, uh, yeah, I'm just starting to go through uh, the other items I got. All the items from the blue boxes. And, uh, yeah, so I have... Enough to list for a few days anyway. Uh, I, yeah, I seem to be doing good with listing six, sometimes seven a day. Although today is one of those days where I've had zero sales. I've had a couple low ball offers that I haven't taken. I did counter back, but uh, they didn't uh, answer me. Let me see what people are saying here. If you check Poshmark's daily trends on shop page, it seems like most everything is trending, <laughs> including mini skirts. Well, that's good. Uh, they determine those trends based on what's selling. Okay. Yeah, I do notice those, uh, those trend things once in a while. <laughs> uh yeah, that explained why they weren't selling, I guess. 
Yeah, I, I was really shocked that those weren't on. Just seeing that how they're stuffed with paper, I'm thinking I probably, these were a return. I'll have to, it was a long time ago because I can't, they only let you go back 90 days uh, to see. And they probably were returned because they didn't fit the person right. And they just didn't get relisted. Normally when you uh, send the refund, eBay asks you if you want to uh, get them to get relisted. And I always say yes. And then I check the listing. But evidently didn't happen with those. That's what happened. So that's my haul. And uh, I think tomorrow I go get my hair cut. And then sometime this week, hopefully I will get uh, over to Michelle's if she can fit me in. <laughs> she had a photo shoot that she's working on editing. And uh, she's almost done with that. She gets her listings up every day. And she has to go to the barn every day. She did ride her horse again two days ago. Uh, which was a really good exper uh, experience. She rode with her girlfriend again. So, yeah. So that's it for today. Uh, if anything else happens, I'll be on. But if not, I will be back for sure on Sunday. Always on Sundays at 4. So hopefully, maybe I can put a video on about something and record it and have a recorded video sometime during the week. So keep an eye out. And uh, I know the notifications don't work most of the time, I don't think. But yeah, it's always 4 o'clock. So around 4 o'clock. So I will be back. And uh, check with you later. Maybe I relisted it and they dropped off. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what happened. So I will see you in the next video. Thanks for coming. Bye.